trailers in my day, but I've never seen anything quite like this one. A two-story trailer. And I had a chance to talk to its owner, Shirley Wallace, who actually grew up in this trailer until she went off to college. And uh, she's going to tell us all about it. Hello, my name's Shirley Wallace, and this is my 1953 Spartan Trailer Manor. It's a double ender. It was purchased new in 1953. In 1957, my sister and I got too large to sleep on the front bedroom, I mean front sofa, so my dad went ahead and bought the parts from Spartan Aircraft, and he built the second story on in 1957 down in San Diego, California. Come on in, join me. So this is your living room? Yes, this is the living room. There was originally a sofa here, but it's gotten destroyed over the years. This push-out was put in in the 60s. My mom bought an organ, and we didn't have enough floor space to sit it in the floor. So, of course, my dad built a push-out to hold the organ. And this all pushes in when we move it. So it's really one of the first slide-outs. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. And then the uh, explain this up here. This here is a center divider that my dad built in. And what it does is it masks the back of this box. This box is actually the hallway for the second story. Hmm. The trailer is only 13 feet, 5 inches tall. Oh. By dropping the hallway down into the first floor, he was able to keep it short enough to where he could get under overpasses. So you grew up in this? I grew up in this. I lived in it from the time I was three years old until I went away to college in 1969. So your kitchen here is you know, got just about everything? Just got everything. We got the old stove and the sink and the furnace and then we had a half-high refrigerator because this is the hallway up here. Oh yeah. And the master bedroom was here in the back. There's the old original So bathroom. here's our bathroom, yeah. Shower. And my dad cleaned out the closet, and that's where he put in the stairway to the second story. And so this just goes up, up there. There's two bedrooms upstairs. There's also closets for both my sister and I, and our original beds were actually a foam pad built on a platform, which is on top of what was the original top of the first story. So that way we each had our own bedroom. So did you, did you like living in here? Oh yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like when you moved down and you went to college? Did you miss it? Did, was it uh, weird living in a regular house? Um, when I first yeah. lived in a house, because you're used to living in a trailer and the walls are really close to you. Yeah. So I found when I moved into an apartment, I noticed one day that I was piling all my belongings to where I just had a little walkway in between yeah. <laughs> to recreate the feeling of living in this yeah. trailer. Yeah. It took me a while to get used to all that additional space. And where did you live in this? It wasn't just in one town. No, we lived in San Diego. We lived in Longpoke. We lived in Santa Maria, we lived in Napomo, we lived in Ventura County down in Fillmore, we lived over in Oxnard, then I went away to college, my parents then had the trailer moved to Alder Point, California, and then on my mom's death he moved the trailer down to Lakeport and he bought property down there, and that's where the trailer was until my dad had his stroke and passed away. And then I went ahead and got the trailer and moved it down here to Visalia, California.